the ISN Leadership Summit. It's a weekend conference. The students here represent 19 Jesuit universities. They're really some of the emerging leaders of the next generation of leaders who will shape uh, our church's work for justice. And they're really craving an opportunity like this to connect their faith with the social justice issues they care about. We're college students, but we shouldn't be limited to that stigma. I'm not just a student. Why can't I be a global leader today? And that's what this conference is really teaching me and those 50 other students who are here with me, that today we can implement our action plans, our changes. One thing that's unique about this conference is that you know, there's only like 50 of us, so it is very, it's very personal. You have an opportunity to meet every single person that's here. These are people I would never have the opportunity to meet otherwise. I'm gonna really enjoy sharing my experiences with them and hearing their experiences and, and talking about similar problems and challenges we see. So I think this has been a great way to, to talk to other students from other campuses and see what's worked for them and what isn't. Being that I'm a freshman at Holy Cross, having this leadership summit, now so soon, it's definitely going to help me become a good leader at Holy Cross because it's, it's really giving me the steps to take, um, almost like a, a map to what I should be focusing on to get other people involved at my college. The social change model is a key framework for the conference. It says that everybody has the capacity to be a leader. Uh, the, the goals are to really tap into the internal desires of that person to create a better world and develop a framework for them to operate in and then it's coupled with an understanding of Ignatian spirituality. My experience so far has been great. It's not often that you think of leadership as connected to faith life, but you can really start to see here that through your faith and your struggles for social justice that you can like take on aspects of being a leader and that's actually what's going to help the most. You have these young people speaking about their spirituality aspect of life and actually bring it together to a table where young adults can make a decision for other young adults and for their future. And it's not adults making the decisions, you know, it's kind of like, okay, this is, this is what we want to be done, not what other people think that we need to do. I like it so much because the ISN focuses on, I guess, unity. Even though we go to different colleges, we're still all one Ignatian body together. And so we get to talk freely about that and you know what it really means to be Ignatian in practice. I definitely think the post-impact is that I'm going to be reading the newspaper in a couple of years and seeing the names that I'm reading on name tags right now. And those are the people who are making the real difference, changing the world. The impact of this conference is really focused on developing a generation of student leaders who are going to take this idea of a faith that does justice to a whole nother level. These will be students after they graduate that will be, you know, the younger generation of our church and trying to really animate the gospel based on what they've learned in these formative years.